government money was used on this. I am part of the EU. Part of my taxpayer money was put into making this game and they were funded a lot of money. I also read somewhere that this game originally started out of a hatred for Donald Trump, which is insane to hear. Have you ever heard about Dustborn? No? Well, neither have I until fairly recently. To put you up to speed, Dustborn is a new game released by a Norwegian indie studio. It's about a band of people who go on a sort of road trip in a alternate version of America. I think they call it the divided states of America. I don't really know. I don't really care. Because despite that not sounding too bad, this is genuinely one of the worst games probably ever made. Despite that though, the game has a 75% positive rating on Steam with 77 reviews. Now, the top amount of people that have played this, the uh, Steam charts tell us, is 85, which would mean that about 90% of the people who played this game actually decided to leave a review. That is either very coincidental that of the 85 people who played it, 77 left a review, or the developers paid off a couple of people to leave reviews for their game in a positive light because they knew it wouldn't be received very well. And they weren't wrong because there are some issues with Dustborn and I can only really talk about what I find on both Twitter and other places. So let's go check on Twitter. Uh, we have Grums here who has made a thread about the game and how it's gotten funded. And it's actually a really good thread. I recommend you go check it out, but I'm gonna give you the TLDR real quick. Well, more like a couple of the posts and tell you uh, my own opinion about it. So let's get into it. So the first one here we have is Dustborn used far more government money than has been previously reported. The Norwegian Film Institute funded the game for 14 million kroner or nearly 1.4 million US dollars. This is in addition to the 150,000 euros from the Creative EU grant program. Dustborn is basically an Antifa training game. You bash the fash across the divided states of America by using vocal powers to call people racist. The game has 33 players currently on its opening week. So yes, the game isn't doing too well. It never reached more than triple digits and it is really a very Antifa game. I'll show you a clip of like actual gameplay right now. What fella you're with? Uh, a black kid? Dresses like a writer? Does he know anything? You are racist. This whole story gets a bit more wild as we continue, especially when we go to the wiki in a bit. The company, Red Thread Games, looks to be funding multiple games through the use of these government grants. The games do not make money, as you can see from the Steam charts below for their prior games, Dreamfall, Chapters, and Dragon. So this isn't uh, their first game, this is their third game. Their existence seems to be dependent on repeated grants, wastes of taxpayer money that fund games that fail over and over. And then we can look at the Steam charts for Dreamfall Chapters, which had a peak 8.2 years ago of 1,700 and right now you have like a peak of like 16 people so it's not really that famous it's a single player game it's not that weird that those numbers dialed down uh I don't think this is a bad game from what I've seen and then the other game Draugen which was uh an all-time peak of 5.3 years ago I only had 240 players with zero players playing right now and four in a 24-hour peak so barely anyone has ever heard about these games and I have no doubt that these games aren't bad um, and that they're not propaganda like Dustborn is. But this is, of course, something that is going to get a lot of backlash when you look at how the game is set up. Um, Grums here has one last uh, post I'd like to talk about. It is curious why Red Thread Games continues to produce games, given that none of them have garnered enough users to pay for their production. It is also concerning that Dustborn has been crafted as a political agit prop tool backed by taxpayers who do not want this kind of disruption to their cultures or society. But it is clear that Red Thread Games does not care or depend on gamer sales for their continued existence or ability to produce political propaganda games. So yeah, as Grums here very clearly states is that government money was used on this. I am part of the EU. Part of my taxpayer money was put into making this game and they were funded a lot of money. I also read somewhere that this game originally started out of a hatred for Donald Trump 
which is insane <laughs> to hear. Listen, okay, I'm just gonna say it. I'm not a big fan of Donald Trump, but I'm not a big fan of a lot of people, and none of those people have ever made me think, you know what, let's make a video game to bash, not even specifically on them, but just, I guess, on the idea they represent. Very, very weird thing to do, and definitely not something that I stand behind whatsoever. But then, of course, you're gonna get see some backlash. However, it's not on Steam. Why isn't it on Steam? Probably because nobody wants to buy the game. It's the reason why nobody leaves reviews and it's the reason why it never hit triple digits. However, there is one place where an all out war has started and that is the Dustborn Wiki. Now, I would advise you to understand here that there is some sensitive stuff in this wiki right now. There's a lot of different things that people talk about. So like, I'm going to try to not say them, but I guess you can understand when I'm saying certain words that uh, aren't that PG friendly. So when you go to the wiki of uh, Dustborn, it, it might have changed, but wikis tend to have the ability to get changed as we continue editing the articles and people try to create a whole uh, wiki for the game so people can understand what the game is about. But when you go on the home wiki, of Dustborn, like the first thing you're met with is is this. What you efforts are doing to the devs is nothing other than terrorism. Bully developers into submission for releasing a game that has BIPOC people in it, especially you religious lot would all burn in hell for this. Jesus says, love thy neighbor as you love yourself, but all you disgusting credins do is spout hate and racism everywhere you go. Because of mm, like this, people go out in mm -mm, mosques and then suddenly nobody was actually part of it. Disgusting behavior behavior all around. You don't like the game and don't care about it, fine, but you don't have to rub it under everyone's nose and be an effing douchebag about it. Just don't buy it if you're not interested. But nah, you gotta send a message out there for your ideology's sake, like the little useful mm that you are. Debt to all, and then there's just a whole bunch of words that I'm just not going to say, but like a certain group of people and then are doing to the devs is nothing other than terrorism. Clearly, this was written by someone who likes the devs and who is hating the fact that they're this game is getting a lot of backlash. I cannot understand why this is such a hatred, but then we go to the other parts of the wiki and you kind of start to understand. Now I need to censor a lot of stuff here. I'm going to try and do my best here. When you go to the actual wiki page for like Dustborn itself, you have Dustborn is a video game of action genre developed by mostly peaceful studios. This isn't true. Uh, this is all altered. I don't know what mostly peaceful means, but uh, published by Hermann Goering, which um, if you don't know, is a national socialist uh, back in the 1940s, uh, if that makes a bit of sense. It was released on April 20, 2069 for console and Microsoft Spyware 2000. The premise here is useless DIY hires, check. Incoherent babble, check. Stolen van, check. Package from Uncle Ted, check. Embark on a perilous road trip across the Banana Republic of Why America, use the power of bad haircuts to shape relationships with your crew, get out of trouble and implement. Yeah, the next part is basically something uh, about the 1940s again. So as you can tell, the genres even here, Marxism and the system requirements are brain rot. So as you can tell, there is a lot of very far right propaganda gaining stuffed in here as a sort of retaliation of the game just not being made for people who want to play games. Uh, I think it's a way of people just going like, hey, nobody cares about this. Why are you making this propaganda? And on top of that, it's propaganda made by taxpayer money. So I think that pisses people off even more. Uh, a lot of people are sort of just very, very angry at how woke everything is getting. Uh, personally, I've made a video about that. I don't think things are getting that woke, but Something like this is not positive. I am not a fan of this. Don't get me wrong. I hate the fact that Dustborn is a game that actually exists. I'm part of the people who really, really hate this. And I think this might be a bit of an over-exaggeration to destroy the wiki as it is, but it is a sort of way to let people know like, hey, this isn't something we're just gonna take and keep taking. I still have one more little thing I wanna look at here, which is when you go to the uh, wiki and you go to the development team, Red Thread Games, they also have a completely altered wiki page. And I kind of just want to talk about this one and tell you it completely because this one is just also. So Red Thread Games is the developer of Dustborn. Koislop Games are a bunch of talentless hacks unable to fi be financially viable. 
so they turn to government grants to make the abominations they call games. The Norwegian lead dev got his fifis hurt all the way from America to effing Norway when the evil orange man won the 2016 American election for some reason. The dude is in Norway, why should he care? His butt hurt got so bad that he had to make it everyone's problem. So after getting some sweet, sweet Norwegian crowns from Daddy State, he began the development of Dustborn. The devs got sassy eventually and closed their Twitter accounts instead of taking the responsibility for their actions and re-evaluating their perspective on society. The ChatGPT made development team is about to file bankruptcy and their offices will soon turn into a crack den and the dev team will soon turn to selling their bodies or their organs to make a living. And then the uh, image file is something completely different as well and it says why so so Aquarius, again, this is just people retaliating in the most far right possible way that they can think of to show that they do not want this propaganda shoved down their throats in their game. I'm also going to show you a very small part of the intro of the game to make you understand what this game is all about. And now that you've seen that, I think we can all understand why there's so much hatred towards the game and that there's this whole backlash. But I did never, like, I never expected a wiki to be this bad and people to put, like, stuff like that this in it just to make a point that's all of me here i'm reporting on the situation i found it very interesting and i wanted to share it all with you leave your opinions down in the comments below because i do really want to know what you guys think do you think that this is an over exaggeration or do you think is this normal because you know it's taxpayer money being paid here to make a game that is clear propaganda just because they can and while you're down there also subscribe for more uh well i guess news reportage and commentary on uh certain aspects of game anyhow that is all for me i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in the next one